Kapilina no Eel 2, Professional Development Number 5. Better Together, Enhancing the Learning Experience by Integrating and Making Connections Across STEM Domains. For our agenda this session, we will begin with an overview of the session. Next, we will discuss what integrated STEM is. Then we will explore challenges, benefits, and best practices for integrating STEM. We will think of examples of how STEM was integrated in Native Hawaiian daily life activities. We will end with a wrap up. Welcome to the next professional development session. This session will focus on integrating the subjects of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics into one curriculum. The outcomes for this session are to know the basic concepts of integrated STEM, understand the challenges and benefits of integrated STEM curricula and lessons, and recognize the importance of interdisciplinary study and how it relates to real-world problem-solving skills and context. Questions to consider. Take a few moments to think about these questions and write down your answers. What is your favorite subject in school? Why do we study by subjects in school? What are examples of how students use mathematics skills outside of the classroom? And how do students learn how to apply mathematic and scientific skills to solve problems in the real world? We will now discuss what integrated STEM is. Isolated Subjects The movement towards formal education and later adoption of compulsory education in the United States led to the eventual standardization of subjects and courses to teach. Knowledge was separated and presented as distinct subjects to be taught, and it was expected that students would be successful either in future vocations or just as responsible citizens in general, if they could master the concepts taught in these educational subjects. Education in the 21st century has come a long way, and the presentation of school subjects as separate and unrelated may actually be proving problematic to successful understanding and success with application of these subjects. As noted by Ferner and Kumar 2007, more and more educators are coming to realize that one of the fundamental problems in school today is the separate subject or layer cake approach to knowledge and skills. Often, students cannot solve problems because they do not understand the context in which the problems are embedded. The separate subject curriculum can be viewed as a jigsaw puzzle without any picture. Back in 1981, Humphreys et al. had already begun criticizing the teaching of separate subjects as hindering students' ability to learn how to use these subjects outside of the classroom. He pointed out, that it is taken for granted, apparently, that in time students will see for themselves how things fit together. Unfortunately, the reality of the situation is that they tend to learn what we teach. If we teach connectedness and integration, they learn that. If we teach separation and discontinuity, that is what they learn. Many in the education field are now pushing for the need to teach in more meaningful ways that enrich the learning context through situated, contextual, and authentic contexts rather than through isolated school subjects. What is integrated STEM?
Definition Integrated STEM is the approach to teaching the STEM content of two or more STEM domains bound by STEM practices within an authentic context for the purpose of connecting these subjects to enhance student learning. Let's unpack this definition. In order to teach STEM, we should first establish what STEM is. What is STEM? How do you define each part of STEM? We have to decide what science, technology, engineering, and mathematics encompasses before we can teach it. Take a few minutes to write down how you define science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Science. According to Generation Genius Inc., science is the process of learning about the natural world through observation and experimentation. What purpose does the subject of science serve in an integrated STEM context? Kelly and Knowles say that scientific inquiry prepares students to think and act like real scientists, ask questions, hypothesize, and conduct investigation using standard science practices. Explore more about what science is by visiting What is Science? by Generation Genius, Inc. Technology. Today, people often refer to devices that run on electricity as technology. However, technology goes beyond electronic devices and technologies have existed before these devices we use today were even invented. According to Kids Connect, Technology is a collection of tools, including machinery, modifications, arrangements, and procedures used by humans. Technologies are developed as a response to human need. So in addition to physical objects, which we often associate with the word technology, technology also encompasses activities, bodies of knowledge, and procedures. What purpose does technology serve in an integrated STEM context? According to Kelly and Knowles, STEM educators should provide students opportunities to think through technology as a vehicle for change with both positive and negative impacts on culture, society, politics, economy, and the environment. Explore more about what technology is by visiting Technology Facts and Worksheets by Kids Connect. Engineering. According to Generation Genius Inc., engineering means using science and math to creatively solve problems. What purpose does engineering serve in an integrated STEM context? According to Kelly and Knowles, engineering design provides students with a systematic approach to solving problems that often occur naturally in all of the STEM fields. Engineering and technology provide a context in which students can test their own developing scientific knowledge and apply it to practical problems. Doing so enhances their understanding of science and for many their interest in science as they recognize the interplay among science, engineering, and technology. Explore more about what engineering is by visiting Generation Genius Inc.'s What is Engineering? Mathematics. According to Britannica Kids, Mathematics is the study of numbers and how they are related to each other and to the real world. What purpose does math serve in an integrated STEM context? Williams 2007 suggests that students want to know not only how to complete a mathematical task, but also why they need to learn the mathematics in the first place. 
They want to know how mathematics is relevant to their lives. Explore more about what math is by visiting Britannica Kids Mathematics. The next part of our definition says that STEM content should be bound by STEM practices. According to the National Science Teaching Association, the STEM practices describe behaviors that scientists engage in as they investigate and build models and theories about the natural world and the key set of engineering practices that engineers use as they design and build models and systems. STEM Practices Here are the STEM practices indicated by the National Science Teaching Association. 1. Asking questions for science and defining problems for engineering. 2. Developing and using models. 3. Planning and carrying out investigations. 4. Analyzing and interpreting data. 5. Using mathematics and computational thinking. 6. Constructing explanations for science and designing solutions for engineering. 7. Engaging in argument from evidence. 8. Obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information. The last part of our definition proposes that truly integrated STEM needs authentic context to make the connections between the STEM subjects and for students to make meaning out of what they are learning. Authentic and relevant contexts. Kelly and Knowles recommend that instead of teaching content and skills and hoping students will see the connections to real life application, an integrated approach seeks to locate connections between STEM subjects and provide a relevant context for learning the content. Let's do a short brainstorming activity to test our abilities at identifying authentic contexts from math and science concepts. Activity. Make the math connection. Look at the math problems below and think of an authentic context where knowing how to solve this equation would be useful. Activity. Make the science connection. Look at the science standards below and think about what types of math skills are needed to understand the science concepts. In this part of the session, we will discuss challenges and benefits to integrating STEM. Challenges for teachers Realistically, there are many barriers to successfully integrating STEM content into a curriculum. We will discuss just some of these barriers as they apply to teachers and students. Teachers who have not been trained to teach more than one subject in an integrated way or who have not been introduced or exposed to lessons and activities that integrate STEM concepts may feel quite disadvantaged when facing the challenge to take on such a big task, especially where they are not given adequate support and resources or simply do not have the interest, time, or motivation to learn and or implement a new way of teaching. Challenges for students. Similar to challenges that arise for teachers to teach integrated STEM, problems for students also relate to skills they may be ill-equipped with due to prior experiences in education. For example, many students who have been trained to see STEM concepts as separate and isolated may not immediately have the skills to extract the specific math or science skills from an integrated lesson. Also, 
As integrated STEM focuses on group and collaborative work, some students who have not developed the skills to work with others in traditional classrooms may not feel comfortable working with others. Benefits of Integrated STEM While the challenges may seem insurmountable or unnecessary for many, the benefits of an integrated STEM curriculum may prove to outweigh the effort needed to overcome those barriers, especially when considering preparing students to be problem solvers in a broader and global community. Here are some benefits of an integrated STEM curriculum. Integrated STEM is student-centered, increases student motivation, attitudes towards, and interests in school improves higher level thinking, problem solving, self-reliance, logical thinking, retention, technology literacy, and math and science performance. Encourages innovation and invention and interest in STEM fields. Gives opportunities to have relevant and stimulating experiences and solve real world global challenges. We will now discuss some suggestions for how to create integrated STEM curriculum. Best practices for integrating STEM into curriculum. Best practices, CARES. To learn effective ways to integrate STEM into curriculum, we will use the CARES acronym. Let's explore what each part of the acronym represents. C is for contexts. A is for approaches. R is for roles. E is for environment. And S is for skills. CARES contexts. C stands for context, specifically context presented in the lesson. Big ideas help connect the isolated concepts and facts usually taught in isolated school subjects. STEM lessons can be vehicles to understanding and solving real world problems in the community, such as healthcare, homelessness, transportation, overfishing, and even larger global problems, such as global warming, sustainability, habitat loss and destruction, etc. Lessons can also build on what students know and have experience with while helping them gain other perspectives and viewpoints on the issues involved. CARES Approaches A stands for Approaches to Learning. Teachers provide opportunities for students to work together and solve problems through authentic and relevant hands-on meaning doing, designing, constructing, and making, and minds on, meaning use of scientific inquiry, experiences. CARES, roles. R stands for roles in the classroom. Learning transforms and dynamics change as traditional student-teacher roles are redefined. Students take a more active role in constructing their learning in a student-centered classroom. Teachers move away from being lecturers of information and instead facilitate students' learning experiences by preparing opportunities and environments for learning. Most teachers today are trained in teaching either just one subject or teaching subjects in isolated ways, one at a time instead of integrated. Teachers who do not feel comfortable or confident in teaching across subjects can turn to others, other teachers or community members, who feel more comfortable and confident in the areas where the teacher may lack experience or knowledge. Community members should also be involved in integrated STEM learning as they demonstrate how the concepts and problems presented in a lesson are presented in the real world outside of the classroom. 
They can serve as role models for how to use more than one STEM concept in conjunction. CARES Environment E stands for Environment. Teachers of integrated STEM classrooms or learning environments purposefully incorporate the use of manipulatives, technology, and assessments to help students construct and demonstrate learning. They allow students lots of physical space to conduct their work and understand that learning takes place over time. CARES Skills S stands for skills. While students can learn and develop these skills in isolated STEM subjects, integrated STEM lessons should be purposefully designed to allow opportunities for and encourage students to use and develop all of these skills. We will now think of examples of how STEM was integrated in Native Hawaiian daily life activities. Integrated STEM, Hawaiian Methodology As mentioned in our prior professional development session on culturally responsive teaching, the Native Hawaiians did not teach in a classroom. What the younger generation learned from their elders was practical. Mahi'ai, or farmers, did not sit in a classroom and teach students how to measure distances, convert units of measurement, or calculate area and volume, and then teach them about the science behind lo'i, or taro patch, irrigation. Instead, they went to work, and while working, the next generation of mahi'ai learned and developed what we define now as science, technology, engineering, and mathematics skills. Examples of STEM in Hawaiian culture. We previously thought about how these examples required using math. Now think about how these examples require using skills across the STEM disciplines. We will end this session with a wrap up. Wrap up. Thank you for completing this professional development session. In this PD, we covered the basic concepts of integrated STEM, the challenges and benefits of integrated STEM curricula and lessons, and the importance of interdisciplinary study and how it relates to real-world problem-solving skills and contexts.